going on everybody it is me Wilson and I'm here with my new uh, toy <laughs> this is the the M10 3 guys the 512 watt hour version all the bells and whistles for this little tiny device this thing is very very light <laughs> very nimble um, so I did try it for like five minutes and you know I'll just give you guys my initial impressions of it here in, you know in my parking lot at home so let's get right into this right now all right guys so you probably see that this thing is very light it feels like a full bag of groceries <laughs> packed to the brim highly portable I see the portable aspect in this wheel 100% guys gonna turn it on you turn it on from the front here just like that and then um, you have to actually unlock it first um, when you first get the wheel and very self-explanatory really easy to do um, you can go into darkness spot and just make sure all the settings are correct for the wheel um, so by default there seems like there's a little bit of a incline on the pedals so I'll fix that later but I'm just gonna keep it the way it is for now uh, if you would consider supporting Jason at e-wheels by buying electric unicycles and accessories and parts over there that will be great and you know he's a really good guy he comes through all the time shipping speeds are really fast uh, if you select the, the right shipping speed uh, took about two days to get here so let's do this guys let's uh get on this now you're gonna see you're gonna realize when you first get on this thing if you're coming from a bigger wheel is that <laughs> you have to reteach yourself how to ride smaller wheels definitely feels a little different uh, the padding really digs up you know the bottom part of your leg so you're gonna feel that um, so let me just show you show you me getting on here Ooh, it's a little square really oh turning feels really weird it feels like there's like a little bit of a pedal dip but you're just going to make small little movements small little movements if you're used to bigger wheels very nimble a lot more nimbler than uh, my first wheel the 16s <laughs> that's come to a stop stopping is good feels good and let's get back on again feels like <laughs> feels like the pedals are dipping down a little bit coming to a turn I don't like that um, the PSI of the wheel when it first came in was very high um, it says a max PSI is supposed to be 30 and this was set for um, this was set at 36 or 33 something like that it was kind of high um, it still feels a little high right now. It's at 28 currently. I'm just going in circles right now. Whoa. Trying to. Now you can ride backwards with this really easy from what I hear. Um, how about we try that right now? I'm gonna have to move the camera because I'm gonna need a launch off point. Of course, of course I'm not wearing a belt. My pants are falling off my ass. 
All right, we're gonna try the backwards riding and see how easy it is with this compared to my S18. Well, I don't think we're ready for that yet. Very nimble, man. Very nimble. So yeah, mounting this thing, it's gonna be a little tricky at the beginning. Take it for a little ride. Definitely has a lot of zip, this thing does. Um, but for backwards riding, not quite just yet. I'm not ready for that yet um, because it's very squirrely. Um, so do I like this thing? Yeah, uh, just gotta get used to it. Like I said, I gotta get used to the, the nimble nature of it. Um, it's gonna be kind of like riding my first EUC all over again almost. Uh, it's amazing how we come from we started off with small wheels, or I did anyway, then the bigger wheels, the Sherman, you know, and then now back down to the smallest wheel, <laughs> which is this. So, all right, guys, well, I'll keep you guys updated. This was just my short impressions of the M10. Um, I'm going to go practice now, and we'll catch you all later. Peace out.